Gary Mabbitt did what all winning captains do. If your name's on the cup, you can survive anything, even a missed penalty at Wembley. Spurs had a real belief that 1991 was their year, so it proved Des Walker's own goal, final confirmation that they were right. What are the signs for this year? Manchester United were the favourites before the last round. The Old Trafford penalty shootout spelled the end for them. Ryan Giggs. He saved it. Southampton set off on a lap of honour. And Manchester United can be added to the growing list of high-class casualties in this year's FA Cup. For Chelsea, the Ermans are promising. In round four, they survived a real heart-stopper. And Hitchcock has saved it! Hitchcock has saved it! Kendall can't believe it on the bench. One of the season's bargains, Clive Allen steered Chelsea into the fifth round. Kerry Dixon is there, and then Clive Allen! Oh, what a goal! From Clive Allen, he's done it again! Clive has scored in a Wembley Cup final, but he's been on the losing side twice. Maybe this is his year. The Chelsea boss, Ian Porterfield, also scored a Wembley goal. His proved to be the winner in 73. And guess who's working for Porterfield at Chelsea? Bob Stoko, who steered Sunderland to that glorious win over Leeds in 1973. You never forget days like these. Chelsea's fifth round opponents at Stamford Bridge today are Sheffield United, managed by Dave Bassett. They're not one of the great cup sides, but Bassett has a habit of producing the unpredictable. Brian Dean set them on the way to today's tie, scoring against Charlton. United are bang in form right now. They can't stop scoring goals. They were in business-like mood in the dressing room shortly before today's tie. Last-minute strappings. And a quiet belief in there that they would do a job today. Let's hope so. Our main match this evening as Sky Sports again brings you the best FA Cup coverage over the next three days is Chelsea against Sheffield United from Stamford Bridge. A smashing FA Cup fifth round tie coming up. A little bit of action from elsewhere later. Sky Sports, the FA Cup channel. Today's results before we go any further. Obviously not showing you that Chelsea one. Norwich City 3, Notts County nil. A couple of goals there for 18-year-old Chris Sutton. Nottingham Forest Four, Bristol City one. Goals shared around Forest on their way after four minutes with an own goal. Uh, Portsmouth one, Middlesbrough one. Alan Kernahan, two minutes from time, saving Middlesbrough. And Sunderland one, West Ham one. John Byrne with a 64th minute equaliser for Sunderland after Mike Small had put West Ham ahead. Give you the Scottish results a little later as well. I can tell you that Motherwell, the cup holders, are out. Our guest, Ron Atkinson, who's got quite a match on himself tomorrow at Swindon. Very much so, yes, Richard, yeah. Looking yeah. forward to it. Well, we are. I don't know about whether you are. Yes. Um, the FA Cup is the most exciting competition out of anything. I think it's got the magic right from the senior pros right to the youngest, youngest kid in the game. It does excite everybody in the game. The theme of our introduction there, if your name's on the cup in any particular season, you can bank on going to a fight, perhaps if there are such things as certainties. You missed a couple of penalties against Derby, you know fabulous match that we saw here. Yeah, but we thought it would be far better for the fans if we did that, and it kept the game <laughs> exciting, didn't it? Um, didn't do much for our nerves, mind you. Um, in fact, some of the fans got too excited. Do you fancy it? It'll be very difficult. They're a good side. Uh, strangely enough, in the last round when we had no game, I went to watch, uh, that was the game I picked, uh, Cambridge and Swindon, and uh, Swindon played tremendous that mm. day. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a hard game for us. Mm. Quick word on Chelsea, who have struggled in the Cup in recent seasons. Yes, uh, I've seen quotes coming out of their place for, over the last few uh, days that uh, they think it's their year. And, you know, if they get the belief, it's like any club. You say the name's on the cup. I don't think it is so much. I think it's a belief amongst players. And the little things that you say, like the missed penalty and so forth of Cotties, um, will all add to that belief. We'll talk more at half-time. Let's go to Stamford Bridge then. Fabulous, fabulous venue when there are people in the stadium. It wasn't in midweek, just 7,000 for the match against Sunderland. Close on 35,000 for this one.